Hello, this is Imens Gaming, and today I will be commentating on the Kroll Opera House Assault, and I'm going to be joined by my teammate, Console Beast, and friend, Battle Maniac 13. Hello. And uh, we are going to be giving our perspective, our strategies, and just uh, what our thinking was during this match. So uh, let's get into it. All right, so first off, I start off just building an ammo box right off the bat. It's always important to have ammo boxes on the point. Uh, as you can see, I, I didn't even care because I saw him in some building an ammo box. So I just went in the back and I started building a rally. Um, rallies are vital. They're vital for winning, especially when you're defending. Make sure you build your rallies. They're, they're really important. They make sure you win the game. So uh, do it. It helps your team a lot. And um, I also put down AP mods on my rally point to make sure that it's uh, secure. And um, if somebody does, you know, come towards it, I like it. It will notify if somebody dies. It will notify me that uh, the rally's under threat. And um, if that does happen, I'll just go back and check. And to make it more secure, um, I put um, AP mines everywhere in this hallway, and I put them in the doorways as well. So you know, that way it's um, more secure. Yeah, it's playing smart. Gives you a heads up, but also you're taking out your enemies. And uh, I, so you're on the right side, I'm on the left side of the point. I've already made contact, uh, taking out the enemy. You've made contact now on the right side. So we, yeah, we figure they have rallies on both sides. Yep, the enemies, uh, they made no delays and they just started swarming in from both sides. Um, as you can see, there's just like a lot of Soviets on my side with flamers submachine guns and all that stuff and I'm just like trying to clear them out and um, I hear a rally um, and you could just kind of tell that there's a rally over there so now I'll just you know make my way over there and try to get rid of this uh, rally point so they don't have like a push in big numbers right there I just took out the rally point um. yep I'm clearing left you're clearing right they're pushing very well Yep, um, but uh, I, they keep coming out from that right side. Yeah, there's just like a lot of them still coming from the right side because um, I think their spawn point, like their uh, natural spawn, is like closer to the right, so they just keep coming. They just keep coming from the right side. Um, and I see that you just took out a rally point. Uh, yeah, my mistake though is instead of going for the rally, I should have just gone to the point because they just took it. Yep, now, even though, you know, the starting was kind of whack for us, you know, it gets better, so wait till the end. Yeah, so we've gone from protecting one's point, now we have two. And this is when we both agree that uh, each of us will take one point. So Battle's going to take Bravo, and I'm going to take Charlie. Um, and uh, where I'm at right now... Uh, this is just a tip. It won't it won't work out all the time. But uh, where I'm at right now, you could have like a rally point in here. Um, this sometimes works out. Like it's like a flanking rally, so you know you could just go from the back and uh, get rid of them. But in this game, unfortunately, they figured out my uh, strategy and uh, they just like kept coming from this side. So instead of building it there, I just like fall back and build it closer to me. But you know, try doing it. You know, it might it might help out, but I'm not guaranteeing that I will always do. But you know, you could always try. Yep. Yeah, these guys had several marshals on their team. They were four stacking, so they knew what they were doing. Yep. And another reason why I did, didn't build it over there in this round is because uh, they just kept coming from the right side, and their tanks also kept coming from the right side. And when a when an enemy tank or infantry is close to your rally point, it will get rayed out, and you're not going to be able to spawn on it. Um, so I just build it next around this area where I'm at right now, next to B. Yeah, so that would have been no good to the team if we can't spawn. I was trying to build it, but then I couldn't build it because this Kratos guy just came in and killed my engineer. I couldn't do nothing. Yeah, Kratos became his nemesis and 
uh, Teboka uh, became my nemesis on the left. Yep. It was like it was like their strongest um, guys in their team versus our strongest guys in our team. Yeah. We just kept. We, we had just, our moments yeah, of kept, glory. Yep. We just kept facing them. <laughs> and we just kept them away from the points. Yeah, the two, the the first two guys in their their team just kept going at it with the first two guys in our team, which is me and Iman's. Something that I realized too is uh, I don't think Teboka, um, who is facing me, I don't think he has Max Berlin guys, but uh, Kratos, who's facing you, it looks like he has Max Berlin because he's got the Fedorov. Oh yeah, so, he's got. He's got it all. He's got Fedorovs, he's got RD44 uh, and all that stuff. So it's like almost evenly matched because you're Max on Berlin I'm, and I'm not. So we were facing like opponents who had like even tech with us. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty even. Because Simons isn't maxed um, in Berlin for the Axis. So it was, it was fair mm -hmm. uh, of him. You know, uh, facing that Tabuco guy. And now I see on your screen now all those guys spawned. Yet they 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 were firing at you and they didn't kill you at first. Yeah, this Tabuco guy. He uh, he turned out to be real smart. He kept like um, flanking us from the right side, and he would build his rally like far right. And uh, he he was kind of. He was kind of cheeky with it, you know, like, his rallies were kind of annoying, but mm -hmm. you'll see that I, you know, get them out of, out of our way. Like right now, I'll, I'll find their rally point and uh, I'll AP mine it, because obviously AP mining enemy rallies is always fun. <laughs> you get a bunch of kills and you piss off the enemy, you know, it always messes with their mind. Like I just did, I just AP mined their rally point. Yeah, we like doing those offensive uh, AP mines on the rallies. Yep. And then I see this tank, I try to bunny hop and uh, get behind him, but it didn't work. And I was in the gray zone and he got me with like one, he, with one shot. Like he killed me pretty easy. It looked like it went under the tank. It must have bumped off the bridge. Yeah. Yeah, it did look like I was going to get him, but I didn't for some reason. Oh. You just got a AP mine kill. Yep, there you go. My AP mine went off, and uh, I think a guy's entire squad died from that. I realized that uh, I didn't have a rally point up, so. I just quickly come over to B and uh, I built my rally. In case there's a big push, I could just spawn near B and uh, counter these guys. And then I see uh, this Tabuk, uh not Tabuk, I'm sorry, this uh, Kratos guy. I saw him building his rally. I came right to him and I t took his rally out. Um, I was going to AP mine it, but I didn't have it on my guy, unfortunately. I didn't have an AP mine, so instead of AP mining, I just killed it. Oh, and then on mine, uh, that's when they brought the tank, and the tank was gray zoning uh, Charlie. And, uh, yep. There's always guys out there that are really pesky, and uh, they like to be like that uh, with their tanks. So you might want to take them out as soon as you can, or else they'll just like destroy your entire team. So you make sure, make sure you take out gray zone tanks. Bring, with whatever you can, either a your friend who's really good at taking out tanks. So I asked mm -hmm. Battle to when he could get in the tank, uh, the uh, the plane, and uh, take him out when he could. I'm I'm now going on the far left side because I got tired of crossing the open. So I figured if I could build a spawn point forward left, that either my teammates or I could uh, cut them off.
you're back in your spot trying to build your rally. Yeah, I was just trying to be cheeky as well. So I got back at my spot, but I see Kratos, you know, I'm trying to, <laughs> uh, trying to, you know, make another flank, but I kill, I squad wiped him. So I just, just I just laid an AP mine down uh, for defense, and as we were saying, uh, it'll notify me when people are around my rally. Yep. Just make sure. If you want to get notified, make sure you uh, put down AP mines. That way you'll know if somebody uh, is at the spot where you put your AP mine down. You gotta, but, uh, you gotta be paying attention to the kill feed. Yeah, and you gotta do that too. If not, then you're not gonna know. Yep. Okay, you're finally dead. This is when you hop in the plane. <laughs> yeah, but uh, remember that whole thing where I said that this rally could be it could work, but it can't at the same time. So I tried to, before hopping in the plane, I tried to spawn on my rally, but it was grayed out because there were enemies near it. So uh, instead, uh, I just hop in the plane because I'm in, asked for help, and uh, so I hop in the plane uh, to take out that uh, pesky tank that was annoying. Annoying I'm in the team on the left side. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, just if you want to, you know, confirm kill, just go. Just kamikaze. That's the only way you can, or unless you're like really, really good with dropping bombs. Yeah. You know, you don't kamikaze, but if you're not, just kamikaze because that's a confirmed kill. I just killed that guy by kamikaze. Yeah. Yeah. P47 with the rockets. It's easier. Bombs, I suck. So. Yeah, that's why you told me to help him out on either, that one. Either get you or tooth. Yep. I still have the, uh, what is it called? The Panzer Shrek 60s in this, so. Yep. And I realized that I didn't have a rally, you know, <laughs> close to Bravo, so, you know, I, I, I got one up immediately Bravo, after spawning. Bravo's tough because it's out in the open. There's not very many places to hide yep. your rally. Yeah, it's kind of tough to defend Bravo. Oh, here we go. Here's the part where I, uh, take. Tabuco out with the MG. Yeah, this was like the glory moment for <laughs> Ivan's. And this was like payback for him because this, this uh, die, entire time. Die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the entire time Tabuco kept squad wiping Ivan's, and this time Ivan squad wiped Tabuco with his uh, drum mag. Yep. Uh, MG 34. It was just exchanging kills with these guys. Yep. Yeah, they, they put up a really, really good fight. This guy confused me because he started shooting in the opposite direction. I was like, where are they? And they were coming from the opposite direction. <laughs> and, yep. So, right here, as you can see, I'm building two AAs. Because uh, I, I, like I heard the uh, announcement for bombers. So, uh, you know, pro tip. Always build two because you never know. You could just run out of ammo if you build one, or your AA could overheat. So to uh, make sure that I don't overheat or run out of ammo, I built two and uh, I started shooting at the bombers to take it down. So uh, with the first AA, I took out. I managed to take out one, and then when it over, I think it ran out of ammo or overheated. I don't know. I yeah. So I jump in the next one or the one next to it. And, uh, I shot. I shot down all the bombers. You know, even though the uh, bombers managed to uh, drop, you know, its bombs, I still killed the bombers and I got a lot of XP. If you're trying to grind a campaign, just go for these bombers. They give you a lot of XP. Mm -hmm. It's just a lot of points. And you get a lot of kills as well. You get like three or four from each bomber. So it's a good way of getting kills and XP. Do you think that you would have been able to take them out more if the first one you had faced it like straight up? Like the guns pointing up already. I think so. Yeah. I know they increase the speed at which uh, the guns uh, look up, but just having a preset. Maybe I don't know. It just it. feels really slow to like turn it and uh, like change directions of the gun. You know, like it just feels slow for me. So yeah, as you can see it. right now, like this uh, Kratos guy, obviously. The pesky guy. He built this new uh, rally, like really deep, 
in the gray zone, which is like probably like 150 or 200 meters away from Bravo. So it was really tough because I couldn't get close to it. And they just all kept spawning there. Um, but I tried my best throughout the game to take it out, but I failed every time. You'll see what I'm talking about. Yeah, it was like the perfect distance in the gray zone that uh, you would die. Yeah, like by the time I got close, I would just die. Even even while having um, vitality. Like I had vitality on these guys and I couldn't get close, I just like died. So, uh, for me to spawn in. yeah, the, the replay system is kind of weird, but uh, I realize that my rally point is down, so uh, I'll get one up soon. Bringing in my favorite squad. Oh, so I and, uh, saw that they, they triggered my AP mine and then the rally got destroyed. Um, just came up, so I know they're over there on the far left. Yep, at this point of the game, they just all kept... Like, like not all of them, but the majority of the team kept spawning on uh, the rally, the gray zone rally. And uh, I had a tough time, so I spawned in with uh, my engineer squad, and I... Uh, and I'm gonna get a rally up to make sure they don't take me. I know a lot of people like to build a rally um, on those buildings that go in the center in between Charlie and Bravo. But the enemy knows. <laughs> if, if someone plays this match quite a bit, they know. Yeah, but for this instance, um, there was no point in, point in building it over there because uh, they had a rally like in the gray zone and I tried to build mine close to theirs okay. so I could keep countering them. Here's my the AP mine. It's always and fun. Guy ninjas through the <laughs> wall and then I'm like, what, what, where did I go? What the heck? Where am I? Because he just glitched right through the wall. Yep. It's always fun. Uh, to AP mine enemy rallies until you're on the receiving end. Mm -hmm. That's when it's pain. It's just pure pain. Because <laughs> it just messes with your mind and it just messes up your whole mode. Yep. We try to give each other a heads up too, like, hey, my uh, rally's in the gray zone, or it's grayed out, so enemies might be on it. Might want to yep. spawn somewhere else, or, you know, just being aware of, of what's yep. going on on the map. You know, after failing countless times to uh, get rid of their rally point, I finally hop in the plane out of uh, frustration to to hopefully take out the rally point. But I have no idea like where it's at exactly. So I drop my bombs. As you can see, I'll drop them right now. But you know, I fail in completing my objective. I kill a bunch of guys, but not the rally. And this is where I spawned in with uh, my Salter squad to take care of these guys. Salters are probably the best squad in the game, like one of the best. And in Berlin, you get the MP43s, which is really good. With a large ammo pouch, you're good to go. Yep, you get like 210 rounds. If you with with the large ammo pouch, so you know, make sure you put um, large ammo pouches on your soldiers. That way, you get more ammo, and you don't really gotta worry about ammo. So now, just I saw all of them just coming from the right side. I spawn in with my uh, MG squad, my MG15. I try to clear out these guys. Got a nice crater for uh, cover. Yep. At this point, like there wasn't really much going on um, on Iman's side. They they just all decided. They saw that they have like a hundred tickets left, and they just decided, oh, we're gonna all focus on one objective and push as a team now. So they all started spawning on my side, 
But guess what? I have the MG15 and I kicked their butt. <laughs> <laughs> and then started having issues with the replay. Yeah, the replay uh, system started acting up and uh, Imans couldn't uh, switch to me or his guy. His yeah. character. It wants to focus on the attacking team, uh, but what I found out is if you go first person and then go second or third person, uh, it'll switch. So on battles, I had already figured that out. On mine, I was trying to figure it out. So. Yep. I saw that uh, that uh, you know their tickets ran out. And, uh, to say like a last fu to their team, I hopped in the plane to hopefully take out the uh, <laughs> the rally this time. I think this time I succeeded. I didn't get a strategic construction, but uh, when I spawned in as infantry and I went there, I didn't find any rally point. Mm -hmm. So I think it got destroyed somehow. Somehow they got 50 or another minute. Yeah, for some reason. I guess it's because somebody was in the plane or in the tank. But yeah, both Imans and I, we were pretty proud of this game because uh, we managed to take, like, take on an entire squad of four guys, a four stack. Uh, we countered them, just the two of us. We did all the heavy lifting. And almost got third place thanks to that. What's his name? Yep. Peta, but I was able to steal the second place. <laughs> I was second the whole time, and then somehow he slipped past me. Oh, that was kind of cool. On my screen uh, was the IL-2, and then I yeah. saw it fly right <laughs> by you. That was exactly out of my, of, of, uh, my perspective. Yeah. Yep, now it's just celebrating. Yep. Everybody. I just, you know, I just made sure one last time that the rally isn't there. <laughs> Even though there, there was no point in checking, so, you know, we saw that the game ended, and I just kept shooting in there. Just for the giggles. <laughs> yeah, so I hope you found this video interesting, our perspective, our strategies, and uh, thank you, Battle, for joining me. Of course, man. Thank you for letting me be a part of this video. All right, guys, we'll catch you next time.